Hey, my name is Evan, and in this video, I'm going to be giving my honest review of Iman Gaji's six-figure SMMA course. And this is not an affiliate. This is, I don't have some link to be able to go and click in uh, where I receive some money or anything like that for uh, for actually uh, saying nice things about the course and Iman. So this isn't anything about that. And uh, this video is primarily for people who are kind of on the fence about joining Six Figure SMMA and if it is for them. Um, if you're an agency owner or you're interested in starting a social media marketing agency, this is the video for you and uh, as a gift for staying until the end of this video, I will be uh, giving out and uh, sharing some tips and tidbits on uh, how to get started uh, with Six Figure SMMA without actually having to really go into the course at all. Uh, even though I do, uh, you'll see my uh, verdict at the end of this if this is uh, good for you or not good for you. So uh, let's actually get started. Uh, I want to get started with the positives first. Um, get those out of the way with the course and the number one the first one is the onboarding funnel this the onboarding client funnel is absolutely amazing it's pretty much well worth the, the cost of, a, of the course to be honest um, this is what allows your clients when you after you sign them up and uh, and uh, practicing sales is a technique that is shared in this course as well but this is to evergreen your process so that you can, whenever you bring your clients in or any prospects in, you can get them to go into the onboarding funnel so that they know exactly what to expect from yourself and what to expect from your agency and your team and so on. Um, this <laughs> this onboarding funnel, like you, you can put your contracts in there, you can put your Stripe, uh, your payment processor, it's pretty much everything that's evergreen and he makes it so simple and he does it inside of ClickFunnels. Um, and and uh, he, he's just he organized it in such an amazing way so that anyone can be able to use this. And um, I'm not too sure if Iman is the one who started the onboarding uh, client funnel, but I haven't really seen it much anywhere else inside of the uh, social media marketing community. Uh, so I <laughs> just for the price of the course, uh, I think is a one thousand nine ninety seven US. So it's a thousand dollars US. Um, the onboarding client funnel. If you're already an agency, this is if you're already an agency and you haven't gotten started at all. This onboarding client funnel is gold for you. And that's pretty much one of the reasons why. I, 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 he didn't even advertise this portion to get inside of the course, but this is a very pleasant surprise once I got into the course because uh, it's allowed me to close my clients much, much easier and my prospects as well. Um, so that the whole process of going back and forth is eliminated between like, oh, what time are you available to schedule a meeting? Uh, I need you to sign this document. Uh, I need a payment processor from this email. All of that is inside of this one funnel. So I can't say enough good things about the onboarding funnel. That's why it's my number one reason why uh, you should be one number one positive for the uh, six figure SMMA course. And number two is the focus on paid traffic. Eman doesn't screw around. He doesn't. Uh, he doesn't screw around with. Uh, I wanted to say another type of word there, but I probably would get demonetized by YouTube. Eman doesn't really screw around uh, when he says to focus on paid traffic. Paid traffic is where people are going, uh, and the paid traffic that he focuses on is Facebook. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be Facebook, but that's kind of where he gears you towards. Um, and uh, also one of his other uh, products, uh, the Influencer Ignited, he teaches you a lot more about Facebook ads. But the main thing is, is that you're not supposed to be one learning Facebook ads. You're you're supposed to be the one hiring people who can do Facebook ads. So it, he's leveling you, leveling you down for your agency to just focus on paid traffic, not SEO, not not social media management, anything of that stuff. Focus on paid traffic because that's where the money is. That's where people are able to scale up a lot more, where businesses are, are allowed to scale up a lot more. It's all through paid traffic on Facebook, Google, YouTube. doesn't even matter. And Iman is... Um, Iman uh, told uh, either myself or the group that uh, if Snapchat was the big money maker, he'd have a Snapchat uh, social media marketing agency. Now, I wouldn't really recommend Snapchat as a social media marketing agency, but that's that's just me. But he's just saying that if if the roles were reversed, if Snapchat and Facebook reversed, he would be focusing on paid traffic for Snapchat instead of paid traffic for Facebook. But he does a lot of YouTube. He's very knowledgeable on uh, YouTube, Google, as well as uh, Facebook for paid traffic. And if you notice over the last couple of years that the Google uh, first page 
has been shrinking and shrinking with the organic SEO. I think about a year or two ago, this is filmed in February of 2019. About a year ago, year and a half ago, Google used to have around one third advertising on its first page. Now, if you type in a whole, like a business or something like that, or a business niche inside of uh, Google, the whole first page, like half of it or more is now is now just paid advertising. So paid traffic is the number one thing. And that's why he gets you to focus on paid traffic for your digital marketing agency. And now let's get to number three, the scripts and Esteban. So this is kind of two things mixed in the one, but the scripts that Eman gives you in order to get started, um, get started your sales process and what to say to prospects for prospecting meetings, as well as what to say with your specific niche, how to close, um, how to find like proper prospects that are good for your agency. The scripts allow you to kind of custom, um, you're allowed to customize your own scripts that are inside there, but he gives you his scripts that he's been able to use uh, through there, and you actually see Esteban, uh, who um, is the second part of this number three, you actually see Esteban do a video of him actually doing some cold calls. And I also have a cold call video on my channel. I'll leave it in the description and in the comment section down below that you can check out as well. It's pretty much the same thing that uh, Esteban was uh, doing, uh, and I, I um, follow the script a little bit with, um, with Eman script a little bit, but I modified it into my own way. Uh, if you would like a video on, um, on uh, scripting for social media marketing, just leave a comment down below. But, and the other amazing thing about Esteban is that he is the coach that is on the six figure SMMA course. So he'll go in and he will check every single post that's inside of our community, the Facebook community, which is also a great resource to meet other like-minded people. Um, that also have agencies and and he does an amazing job with his feedback. He's super knowledgeable. He runs his own agency as well, but he also works for Eman too as his, uh, I think he's his uh, general manager now. And, and that's why he's such a nice guy, very humble. And he, he really does give amazing advice. And if he doesn't really know about the subject, he'll refer you to someone else who does know about the subject. So he doesn't really BS anything. He doesn't really make stuff up. Uh, so Esteban is one of the better, uh, better aspects of this course and one of the reasons why you should be buying it. So just to reiterate, so these are the positives. So the onboarding client funnel, uh, focusing on paid traffic where it gets you to focus on and narrow in on paid traffic as your primary resource for your agency, as well as the scripts that Iman gives you and Esteban as the private coach that's inside of the uh, Facebook community. So let's get to the not so great uh, aspects of it. Understanding Iman's team. So a lot of people start doing their agency on their own and then they give up after about a month or so because they don't, they don't have a team and they don't develop your pr their proof of concept that is, that is inside of that team. So what that means is that Iman has grown a team where he doesn't do the sales. He, he doesn't do, um, he does some of the ads. He, I think he does the ads for his higher end clients, but he doesn't do all of his ads for all of his clients. He has a Facebook ad specialist that he has currently with him. Um, and a lot of people who join this program, they try to do everything themselves and that's where they get that's where you get incredibly overwhelmed and you just want to quit and give up. Um, you need to establish a team and use the people inside of the community as well as people, uh, as well as freelancers and other people in online communities in order to start growing a team for your digital marketing agency. And that's what a lot of people kind of misinterpret about Iman is that he has a team established. He has systems in place already because he's already two years, two to three years ahead of us of those who joined the course. He's already been doing this for a few years and he was only 18, I think, when he made the course, uh, which is pretty amazing. I think he just turned 19, but uh, but yeah, it just understanding Iman's team is one of the downfalls and what he doesn't really mention inside of the course as much, um, getting people to know that like, hey, I have one person for this, I have another person for this, I have another person for you, you know what. Um, so people just need to understand that Iman has a team that's uh, surrounded him and it's not just him with his agency uh, for sure, but he is a big portion of his agency. He's the personal brand of his agency and that's why it's a, allowed to grow. Scroll down a little bit. Inconsistent Q&A session. So this has been, um, 
this has been something that was on my mind uh, the last couple months is that Iman would have ins- inconsistent Q&A sessions for his communities. So sometimes he would uh, say like, hey, in two hours I'm on, or hey, tomorrow I'm on, but all the timings are very, very inconsistent over the last few months. And I think Iman was in Bali last month, so January. So it proved to be a bit more inconsistent. And um, I think he was um, trying to grind out and do a, and finish some programs uh, while he was there. So it was very, very inconsistent. But just while I was making the editing of this video, uh, Iman sent out a Zoom link uh, for just people inside of the community for the Q and A, and and he has all of it scheduled until May. So every single two weeks, he's going to get on and answer questions from the community for an hour to two hours, which is excellent. And it's systemized, and the same days are consistent until May, which I think uh, is when uh, Iman is going to be doing 2.0 of this um, of uh, social media marketing. Of, uh, S- of six figure SMMA. So he'll be doing 2.0 of this, um, which I'm very excited for uh, to grow my agency. Bec- uh, which <laughs> oh, I almost spoiled something. So uh, let's get down to the bottom. But this is a fixed issue. This was my complaint about a week or two ago, but now this is a fixed issue. So that's one of the main benefits of joining up with this course as well is the Q&A sessions where you can go on and ask as many questions as possible uh, to Iman because there's Usually like in the community, there's like over a thousand people that are inside the community, but like during a live call, there might be only 30 people on. So the odds of Iman answering your question is pretty good if you get in there kind of early. So yeah, so that's um, now a plus, not a negative inside of the program. Lack of uh, foundation principles. So how I go about this is that Iman, he does, te- he does show you to go after a niche. He does um, try to get you to develop like, hey, why you should niche down and not become a generalist. So like a doctor uh, who's a generalist doesn't make as much as a specialist, uh, like a brain surgeon or something like that. And I think Iman in his 2.0 can go a bit deeper into this issue. Um, Iman is a student of Sam Ovens. I'm also a student of Sam Ovens. Great guy, great program. And and I think Iman should delve into a little bit more of the principles of an agency and growing the business instead of just like, he teaches a lot of stuff on how to be a social media uh, marketing agency, like the freelancer portion, but it doesn't really teach you to be as much of a business, um, which which you need the foundations first before going out there and, and choosing your niche because people will choose a niche inside of this, uh, inside of this program And I've realized that a lot of the comments that are in the group, people will choose a niche that they have no idea, um, no prior knowledge of. They only pick it because there's a lot of money involved with it. So it's like dentists, real estate. um, There's a few others that are pretty recurring chiropractors and stuff like that. Those those niches are are are. Uh, oversaturated with people just seeking help, like going after them and, and stuff like that. And I think that Iman should get down to the uh, foundation principles, which is what Sam Ovens talks about a lot and, and being able to define what your niche is. And there's, there's different analytical ways on how you can choose and pick your niche. You can literally almost pick anything to be your niche. Uh, that's a business. <laughs> so you can't really pick a uh, uh, building snowmans as a business because unless you're in somewhere that's always winter or something like that, uh, I, I don't really advise uh, that to be a niche. I'm looking outside; it's really snowing right now here in Vancouver. Um, but yeah, no, I wish that Eman would dive a bit more of the foundation principles of a business first, of uh, a marketing agency, so that they can grow and establish a team first, and then. Uh, and you can pick out your niche and know what your business is all about and then go out there and start doing sales and clients. And I think it was a little bit of mumbo jumbo in there. Um, and I think he'll fix that up in 2.0. So that's the only um, few complaints that I had, which wasn't really that much. Um, so now that you've kind of stick to the end of this video, I personally want to give you my onboarding client funnel, uh, which is going to be down in the description as well as down in the comments of this video. Um, that's for my own personal agency uh, so that you can copy that. I'm going to post it as a shared funnel. So if you don't already have ClickFunnels or you have ClickFunnels, um, if you already have ClickFunnels, you can just use it as your own uh, on your own page. If you don't already have ClickFunnels, uh, there's two things that you can do. Uh, first one is sign up uh, for the 14-day free trial with ClickFunnels. 
um, and uh, choose the, <laughs> I'm gonna hate saying this, but choose the shared funnel plan uh, when you sign up for ClickFunnels. And when you, cl uh, when you click on the link, uh, just copy the link and then make it as a, in, in an incognito window. And as you put it in an incognito window, um, you're going to be able to um, sign up for the 14 day free trial and pick this funnel as your shared funnel. And having a shared funnel allows you to have the $19 per month plan after the 14 day free trial. Um, I'm gonna kick myself for this because I'm affiliated with ClickFunnels. I'd rather be making $40 a month than making uh, the chump change of like $5 or something like that. Um, or whatever whatever it is is like eight bucks or something like that for recurring income of the shared funnel but I want people to be able to actually if they don't have the click funnels account I want you to actually be able to have a look at the onboarding funnel make it your own you can see how it is um, while also testing out click funnels because if you already have an agency and you're already doing uh, social media marketing the onboarding funnel is absolutely amazing and something that you should be doing for your clients um, for your clients because it's going to save you weeks at a time when trying to onboard them after you've closed them or it's for a prospect uh, to get them to understand what you're trying to do and uh, understand your agency so you can really brand it the way that you want um, the other thing that I was gonna say yeah uh, what was what was the last thing I almost forgot what my uh, last thing that I was gonna say so yeah man. Uh, yeah so I'll be posting uh, also my videos of myself of myself doing some uh cold calling as well so that you can have a look at it and see um and see kind of practice and see like what works what doesn't work and if you want me to um if you want me to make a video about my scripts and how i actually organize my scripts while cold calling uh definitely write that down in the comment section if i get enough uh, people writing that down then i'll definitely make a video on that and um and uh, yeah, that was my gift for you guys sticking to the end is that onboarding client funnel and then also signing, uh, getting the discounted ClickFunnels uh, sign up page, uh, which is the $19 per month. And if you do that, uh, if you can't afford $19 per month, then you probably shouldn't be working online. <laughs> so uh, this is an honest review of Iman Gachi's six figure SMMA course, not affiliate. And I 100% recommend if you're into social media marketing, if you do some social media freelance work, uh, if, if you do some stuff for businesses online, it's definitely a great course to grasp to be able to learn some new techniques that you can use to grow a business, um, to grow an online business for your uh, social media marketing agency, to find some principles and it really narrows down uh, on the niche as well to go after, even though I just said that like he, he should be a bit more specific about that, but he does narrow it in pretty well. Uh, overall, I would give this course a nine out of 10. Um, and I have made my money back with this course. Um, I was able to actually get a profit and run my own agency as another gift to you. If you're interested in the real estate niche, I invite you to uh, click on my real estate case study uh, case study uh, video. So I'm going to put a link down on the bottom so that you can have a look and see what you should be doing if real estate is your niche and what you should be doing with your uh, what you should be doing with your agency and where you should be focusing on and what kind of pain points that real estate uh, marketers really uh, or re not real estate marketers but uh, real estate professionals have so that's my other gift I almost forgot about that gift so three things that you're gonna get you're gonna get the onboarding funnel inside of here as well as the uh, tips and tricks of um, tips and tricks of getting the $19 per month uh, 19 per dollars per month plan which is what I just explained so you're welcome for saving some money the second thing that you're gonna get is the um, is the video on the actual uh, me doing some cold calls uh, as well. I think that's up to almost like 2,500 views now on YouTube, which is pretty cool. You guys really seem to like that. Uh, and then the last one that I'm gonna get give you is the real estate uh, case study. So you can have a look at the real estate case study. And if that's your niche, then I highly recommend you going into it. That's my niche, because uh, I live in Vancouver. Housing prices are enormous. Uh, but yeah, no, if you found this video valuable and you really like digital marketing uh, and some of the courses that are online, I would highly recommend that you hit the hit the subscribe button and uh, follow me on my little adventure, uh, online adventure, and um, let me know if you're inside of Eman's course 
or if you're thinking about Emacs cor course, um, what was your best favorite part about the course? And if it's uh, and if you're not in the course yet, let me know why it's holding you back. Why do, don't you want to join in on this course? And why are you watching this video? <laughs> so um, once again, my name is Evan, and if you're new here, hit the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you in the next video. No, I don't want to delete that. <laughs>